Okay guys, welcome back. Today is a short video. We're gonna detail some custom configuration options in Java Spring Boot's built-in cache manager and how to evict the cache on a scheduled basis automatically. So let's create a new class at the root of our project. I'm going to name it cache configuration and I'm going to annotate it with at configuration since this is a configuration file at enable caching, which we have explored before and this is a new one, at enable scheduling, which we will explain in just a second. We're gonna say at bean. This is a bean we're going to inject into our Spring Boot project. So public cache manager, cache manager, and import. So Java's data structure is a concurrent map cache manager. So that's what we will create here concurrent map cache manager. I'm going to call it cache manager equals new concurrent map cache manager. And we're going to return this object we just instantiated. But before we do so, let's set some properties. So we can say cache manager and we have a bunch of options that allow us to customize our configuration. So let's start off with cache manager dot set allow null values to false. What this will do is if a method that we have cached returns a null value, it will not save it to the cache. Next up, we're going to say cache manager dot set cache names. We can set all the names of our cache in one place so we can keep track of them. So arrays dot as list. We'll say product cache and customer cache. And just to make sure we can print these out and see them when our project boots up. Next up, we're gonna learn how to evict the cache on a scheduled basis. An example of this is perhaps you have a weather app and every five minutes you decide that the weather needs to be updated so you would want to automatically evict the cache on an ongoing basis. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna say public void, we're gonna call it evict product cache. It's gonna have no parameters. It cannot have any parameters for this to work. And this method actually doesn't need to contain anything, but I am gonna put a print line statement out so we can see when it happens. So system.out.println evicting product cache. And the way this is going to work is we're going to use the annotation we learned earlier. So at cache evict, we tell it which cache to evict. So value is equal to product cache. And we'll pass in a new parameter, all entries equals to true, meaning everything in the product cache will be deleted, not just one value. And the way this is going to work is we added the enable scheduling annotation at the top of our class. Well, this is where we're going to use it. So we're going to say at scheduled fixed delay is equal to, and then we pass in how often we want to do this in milliseconds. So we'll start off by saying 2000 milliseconds or two seconds with an initial delay of zero. Let's go ahead and run this. And in the console, we can see evicting product cache and it's running every two seconds. So again, it's nothing inside the method that's doing anything. It's the annotations we put on the method that allow this to work. So let's go ahead and stop this. Two seconds is not enough time for us to see this in action. Let's change this to seven seconds or 7,000 milliseconds. That way we can actually see it working in Postman. Rerun our application. So there's our startup evicting product cache. And there it goes again. So making our way over to Postman, let's ping it. Remember, our first request doesn't count. We have to initialize the project. Let's run it again, and we're getting 15 milliseconds. Uh, that's not fast. Doing it again, and this time we get five milliseconds. So that value is cached. Let's go ahead and wait until we see it evict the cache again. And there it goes. We'll ping it again, and we're back up to 13 milliseconds. So it did evict the cache properly on a scheduled basis. Now, one last thing to consider 
is if someone is coming along and reading this, uh, 7,000, we might not know what the unit of 7,000 is. So it probably makes sense to do something like this. Uh, final static int, we'll call it 10 minutes, is equal to 600,000 milliseconds. And that way, when we come down here, we can just put 10 minutes. And so we know exactly what the intent of this cache is. Okay, that's all for cache management. We'll see you in the next video.